Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Salatu wassalamu ala Rasulullah. This is part two of our course uh, for making a multi-story building uh, shop drawing in advanced stick. So, uh, in the previous lesson, uh, we finished till here. Till here. Now I want to uh, make my beams. I can uh, change the conceptual to, uh, to, uh, to conceptual so I can see the beams like this. Or I can uh, go back to wireframe so I can snap uh, more accurate after I finished I finished the the beams and the columns sorry the columns here now I want to uh, draw beams so from here uh, I section uh, as you see from uh, center to center line and I can proceed from center to center again from uh, this point to that point in the middle and from this point to that point this is uh, one way okay this one way where I have to have to select every time select start and end point start and end point okay after I finish this one, I can go and go to left view and I see if my beam is correct. I think, uh, as you see, I have some uh, some missing here. It, uh, the start point is correct, but the end point is not correct. So what I have to do, I can go to top view and I can see where is the problem. The problem is here, so it's not snapped in the middle. Again, these two I'll bring back to this line. <coughs> Sorry. There's a hint for making beams. As I said, this is one way. Uh, we have another way, which is uh, poly beams. We have po poly <coughs> poly beam, and uh, I can uh, continue from this. As you see, I I make. I put the beam in the middle of the column but if I, I am going to use a sheet, a sheet connection which is the plate what I have to do I have to put the plate in the middle not the, um, the beam in the middle why because if we have uh, the same thing mirror from this side if we put the connection in the middle so this uh, this column will be the same uh, of this column otherwise it will be uh, it will have uh, some difference and uh, it will not give us uh, one name or one assembly okay I, I made this one I can copy now I can copy this one just like before as we made uh, from this point is the same thing. Let's say preview. So it's okay After that I can make this beam uh, Or I can change the the the, <coughs> the section of the beam. It's pretty easy Just double click here from IPE maybe IP 300 But now, if you look at the position is the, in the middle, so I want to be uh, at the top like this. Okay. After that, uh, what I want, I want to ma make much properties from this line to this and the rest of the beams, so as to be everything uh, IPE uh, three hundred and. Uh, it will change the it is position so it's very good okay now what I have I want to I want to draw another side of the beam and this side let's say <coughs> and again it's not not uh, designed one and uh, not designed uh, it's just something uh, I don't I didn't design before uh, this IPE let's say IPE 
360 okay and again I can uh, select this one and make a copy preview okay again I want to select these three I'm uh, sorry hmm. I have some I want uh, one extra I'll do it later no problem just click here and copy again copy so from this point to to this point <coughs> I don't I think <laughs> the distance should be or I want to <coughs> I'm sorry I want to select again I come from this point till this point so it gives me the exact dimensions how many beams I have I want I have one two three four so I'll change this the numbers for four and apply an OK so as you see now I have uh, these beams here but for the position uh, I have to change the uh, their positions from middle to as you see there's a difference between positions as you see here so just uh, select everything right click advanced properties and from positioning and go to here just click here so it will be uh, the position to be uh, will be on the top okay that's very good I think now I have many things I don't want to want to copy this uh, to the top because I want to make uh, connections after that uh, I will copy it to the <coughs> rest again I have some some beams here I have to uh, make some beams secondary beams here this let's say this main beam and I think for the secondary beam uh, IPE 360s uh, we have a big safety so I just want to change it to maybe something 270 okay because uh, we will make these uh, main beams or girders this is uh, secondary beams of course I, I will copy this from here maybe uh, two three uh, more here each span I want to put uh, another three or another two maybe but I, 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 will, I will make this in the uh, next uh, part okay for now what we have uh, <coughs> sorry. what we uh, we have we have uh, we have these beams we have these beams I can I can make another beam in the middle of this beam to the middle of this beam or I can specify the, the distance okay I can specify the distance uh, and uh, about the position again I want to position it from top I can make like this and make a copy from this side and to the and this side this is one way or another way I can uh, divide this distance let's say uh, this beam the length of this beam is about from properties is uh, this distance 6666.67 and I can uh, make this distance and let's say divided by three uh, or uh, divide by three distance so it means two beams so I don't want to I want to divide by uh, four divided I'm sorry where is the division I can make uh, one and <coughs> one meter and uh, six, six centimeters each distance for uh, from here or uh, we can use uh, as connections later as you see we have mezzanine and we can make it with mezzanine uh, I just uh, want to save this file uh, just so we can we, we can open it for later stage uh, for later uh, lessons sorry multi-story building and let's let's name it as 
multi story building okay this part too and uh, for the next part for the uh, next part where i will i will continue uh, making beams in this direction and let's say secondary beams and after that we will make connections and base plates and uh, make another uh, make the rest of the of our building sorry so thank you very much